finished the book, the diary, and uh, well, one of them. I've still got um, this one to do. This is one I've got to do. It's just in the book block form. And it's the earlier one before I saw that one with uh, Wicked Messenger 1. And uh, I took the book downstairs and showed it to the wife, and she, she liked it. And she didn't like very up. She's sick of bookbinding. <laughs> She's sick to the teeth of it. But she did like this one for some reason. I don't know why. And uh, I've escaped from the norm. I haven't put any ends on it. I haven't put any um, raised bands on this or anything like that. I've just left it as a normal, a normal book. And a couple of things I found out that on the last video, if you look at the last video that I did, I've called it number seven, but when I put it all together, it might go into one big lump, so it won't make a lot of difference. But the last, the last piece of tape, then our last piece of video, um, it it will show you that the head uh, the end papers, are different to the ones I've got in because the end papers weren't substantial enough to take the pressure. And uh, what it is, it's a, a thirteen year diary. And the fourteenth year is January. I think I've gone to about March and then stopped. So it's a 13 year diary starting into the 14th year and it runs from 19, uh, 2015 to 2028. <laughs> so that makes it a 14 year diary but I haven't finished the whole of the 14th year so it's only going. It's only a 13 year diary. And uh, it's it's got a plane back on, it's leather but it's just plain with the plain casing and uh, I said I wasn't going to put them in, but I did put them in. They're not stitched, they're, they're the, um, the crappy old, what they call them ones, but uh, it, they do take a long time, headbands, and it's a labour of love. And uh, I found out that, um, I don't know if you can see, it says diary there, just, and I should have had a plain because the guy did, he does do them with the plain backing on, and to see them it's, it's plain. But the wife quite liked it, so I was quite pleased with that she liked it. And uh, everything's level and fits on. I didn't put any, I only made it a quarter bind. I didn't make it a three quarter bind with the corners on because um, it's just a functional item, this. And uh, obviously I did the back, which you know of. <laughs> the disaster on that. So anyway, it's, um, it's one of four that I've made so far with leather. <laughs> I've made other ones with leather, but this is the four that I've kept. I haven't. Uh, I usually give my books away. I don't. I don't really bother keeping them. They don't. They've no function once I've made them. I don't have any special love for anything that I make. Uh, <laughs> but um, I'll just come down onto this a little bit. Go out a little bit, and it's. Um, I put a black back in to give it some. Uh, a bit of class because I think black is classy and then the first page the fly page and then the first page Wilton Road Publishing and then the January with the two thousand fifteen and uh, I was gonna I was thinking about putting all sorts and I was thinking about putting um, oh the actual things when when the clocks go back and forward because it changes every year it would have been a labour of love to do that I could have done it but I don't think anybody would have really appreciated it nobody gives a damn um, <laughs> and when it crops up they tell you on the television anyway but uh, it, it's a handy diary for people that keep a diary the wife doesn't keep a diary actually she keeps telling me that and because uh, our house is not posh enough to keep diaries, <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> it's not, but we're not posh enough to have a diary. But I can make a diary, but we're not posh enough to have diaries. <laughs> it's terrible. Anyway, 2016, 2017, and so on. And uh, it's the same thing in the back. It went in quite well. I've got a few mistakes. There's a little bit of a over exuberance on the, on the glue there which comes through on black, you can see it on black and uh, a fly sheet back and telephone numbers anyway it's 27, 2000, 20 August, December 27, January 20, 2028 February, 
I think I go up to about March or April. I go to April and then stop. So I'm a, sort of a quarter of a year through the January, February, March, April, yeah, four, three fours as well. I'm a third of the way through the year. So for 2020, I shan't be around to see that, I don't think. So I'll make an item in there and say, I was here. <laughs> I was here. Anyway, that's that's the book. And it's, um, the format is a leatherback, quarter bound, with marbleised English paper, which I bought from Ratchford's. Um, I think they're from Ratchford's in, I'm not quite sure where they are. I say, I keep saying the headquarters is in London. It's not in London, it's, it's, um, it's, oh, I can't remember now. But anyway, it's in the book. Ratchfords is very famous. You just put Ratchfords in. R-A-T-C-H-F-O-R-D-S. And you'll get it. Um, well, just put bookbinders in and you'll get it. Because Ratchfords is very, very famous. And then you'll have to wait to get what you want. Especially if you're only sending for small things. You'll have to wait for about a fortnight to get it. Because they always say they're busy. It's next day delivery. costs you about 12 quid and... It costs you 12 quid for the next day delivery and you don't get it for a fortnight. <laughs> but it's the only place you can get it from. It's the trouble, that's the trouble with them. They've got a stranglehold and you can't get it from anywhere else. Anyway, that's book one. And uh, my other book is that I've done. Um, I did this one. I, this is on YouTube. And uh, this is a three-quarter bind. And uh, the, the photography on there wasn't all that good on YouTube. And... Uh, this is a bit richer looking and it's got the bands in and uh, I think the book warranted it. The book is, I don't know whether it's a, an idiot book or anything, but he is a fellow of the Royal College of London and he's on about um, uh, the origin, origins of the Britons and Scots and the Anglo-Saxons and the Picts <coughs> from Phoenicia. So he's a creditable guy so they've put him in and he's written this book. and. Uh, I was interested in the history of Britain, but I think it's um, I think it's it's a bit outlandish. It's like the Germans looking for the Aryan race, and I'm not quite sure how much is myth and what's what's thing is. I, I've read a bit of it. I've tried to read a bit of it, but it's it's a little bit. Uh, he is he is a clever chap, but I haven't heard of the book before, so he he can't be all that wonderful. Anyway, that's another one of my leather books, and the other type of books that I did were were books from. Uh, Alex Ogden and uh, he, he's a vicar and I tried to emulate his Bibles uh, not the Bible itself because I've got no interest in Bibles but uh, the actual book this, the, the type of book, the soft back and it had a great interest for me with, uh, and it's just notebooks to write notes in. I thought they'd be nice for it men like a book like this it's, it's, a, it's a manly type book and it'll go on the desk quite happily and this one is really a bible this is one of the first the first one i made and uh, i made it with a card uh, as a book i should i shouldn't have done it in card but this was the first one i did and uh, i got the, the back in quite nicely and uh, although in bibles they don't normally do the headbands you don't normally see a headband in a bible i i, I could be wrong but uh, it went in quite nice and uh, it's a full bound they're fully bound these these are what the class sorry i'm I'm going ahead of myself, they're fully bound. And uh, I did um, the inside bindings on this, which you should do. This is the internal paper. I put it on the outside of the other books. But this is internal paper for binding. And uh, it, 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 it's the quality paper that you use. It's just thick enough. It isn't, uh, 80, it isn't 80 GSM, it isn't 160. It's sort of in between. And it's very strong and uh, it does the job. And this is what I did in the first place. But the stuff is so expensive. I just, I just can't afford to do bookbinding properly. I just, I just can't afford it. Anyway, this is this is a notebook and um, just an ordinary notebook. And uh, I'll probably give it away to somebody. But I usually keep my failures. I, I don't usually show people my, my failures. There's, there's quite a few things on this one, and you can see there that the card underneath had a few blemishes on where I tore the paper off and I, I didn't think about it well leather will you put a hair under there you'll see the hair come through so that's what that is it's not a mark in the leather it's a blemish in the under par and you can see where it's gone in for the for the book formats I should have filled that in on the inside before I put the inside paper on there 
I should have put a, a, a piece in there, fitted it in, and that line wouldn't have been there. You can just see it. So that's another mistake. There's loads of mistakes. It, it, book binding is a real skill. And the wife said, you're always mourning, you're never satisfied. <laughs> but, but once you start doing them and you look at a book, uh, some of the good books, and you think to yourself, what a load of S-H-I-T this is. <laughs> anyway, that's me book finished. The, the, the one I wanted to show you was this one anyway, because I've, I've made a great big effort about that one. And that's that's the, the, the book. I'll see if I can get the... You can see diary on there, you can see it. I spent a long time doing that, and you can, <laughs> unless you get it in the right light, you cannot see it. So, and I should have had plain paper on. Wicked Messenger One, the guy on YouTube, I hate that name. Um, he do, he does uh, the same thing, but he does it with uh, Japanese paper. And when you put Japanese paper on, Japanese paper shows up every blemish. And if it's plain, this is rather fussy paper because it's English. And uh, it's all I had for quality. I wanted something quality because I did a quality book. And uh, anyway, I shall stop moaning and... Uh, I hope that's been of some interest to somebody. I don't know whether it has or not. But uh, it's one of my first diaries, successful ones. Um, and you don't need to buy one next year because <laughs> you can wait for 13 years before you buy your next diary. <laughs> anyway, I'll stop there and uh, I'll see you.